Baseball, America's pastime. It's been played for over 160 years. The game as many know it has changed some, but there are still those who hold on to the traditions of the sport. Period uniforms, athletic equipment, and state-of-the-art water bottles. A lot of us grew up playing the game. I mean, we just love the game. Uh, myself, you know, a lot of us played in high school. A lot of us didn't get a chance to go on and play at another level, and it's just a, it's an opportunity for us to get out and play. Vintage baseball is played across the country. Chattanooga actually has two teams, the Mountain City Club and the Lightfoot. The games are played following the rules of the 19th century. Uh, vintage baseball we played by 1864 rules. Uh, basically, we don't use gloves. Gloves haven't been invented yet. Uh, you can't overrun first base. There's a lot of differences. Obviously, the clothing we wear. It's more of a gentleman's game that, than it is today. Uh, today, you get the million dollar contracts. Guys back then didn't play for money. Uh, we play for the passion. We love the game. Uh, we just like to get out here and have fun. That's what it's about. Well, now that I've been educated on the do's and don'ts of the game, I guess it was time for me to step up to the plate and take a swing. I even got a nickname out of it, Stocky. Okay, so I'm not exactly Barry Bonds, but I made contact and made it on base. So in my book, that's a win. You'd be all right, actually. The, the, the difference is, is power in this game is really kind of taken away with the bound rule where you can catch the ball in one bounce. I think you, know, you being a single setter like that, you being a single setter might get on base. You got some wheels. You'd be all right. Having stepped up to the plate and experienced it, vintage baseball is more than just a game. It's a living history, bringing the gentleman's game of old to the present. See you on the field, Chattanooga. Jamal Williams, News 12 Now.